I'm here at the Munich Audio Show with a very special person who I've known for, oh God, and also 20 years. Years and years. Years and years, Andreas Koch, who, as the, I would call him Mr. DSD, only because he, was been, he has been such an important part of the development of DSD for all of you out there who are listening back in DSD. He now has, for oh, at least 10, 15 years, years, I was going to say 10, 11 years, playback design. He's one of the first ones who built a DAC that actually played back DSD in the DSD domain without going to PCM. And, but you tell us about your history. I'd rather hear it from you. You know, the history is, it goes back to Sony where uh, we basically developed you know, the DSD technology and uh, started building hardware uh, with the focus of uh, archiving, uh, using it for archival purposes. Uh, but then SSCD came along, as you know, and uh, this became the encoding format for SSCD. The question at that time was, of course, to build or how to build the uh, authoring equipment, the recording equipment without going to PCM and not compromising the benefits of DSD. So we had to basically reinvent the wheel and um, uh, do a uh, recorder, editor and mixer from scratch with, uh, with DSD native, native DSD. Yeah. Um, and uh, that became the Sonoma system and it uh, became so successful at the time that uh, it's still being used uh, in some places. Yeah and uh, it just doesn't want to go away and became uh, <laughs> became famous in the audiophile industry even uh, because uh, people uh, you know they follow of uh, they follow the history of their recordings and they stumble across the sonoma name there after sony pulled the plug basically on uh, uh, the no, dsd or SSC both, both, uh, both, both, both of them yes yeah. Um, I, uh, I split and took some of that technology with me, legally, with uh, Sony and uh, started playback designs to uh, come out with uh, uh, D2A and uh, CD players and ADCs also that use some of that technology, but I built everything uh, discreetly, not with standard off-the-shelf chips because mostly they were not available at the time or n were not good enough. And that kind of uh, put me on course with playback designs to uh, develop everything uh, discreetly. Discrete uh, D2A converter with my own algorithms that date back to 1982. Sure. And uh, sample rate conversion, I still own one of the original patents. And um, uh, also A to D conversion. And uh, I realized, you know, DSD is an integral part of these conversion systems. They can be an intermediary step uh, or the ultimate uh, result. But whatever it is, uh, DSD became an intrinsic part of, uh, of playback designs. Yeah. And the future? And the future, you know, it, it just started growing. And, uh, you know, with the history, a long 11 year history now of playing. Uh, of uh, developing D2A and um, uh, CD players, SSCD players, uh, we always develop um, amplifiers as well. Small amplifiers, because that's the analog output stage of uh, each D2A converter. Uh, but um, that means you know, we know a little bit about analog amplifiers. And we built an 130 watt amplifier in 2013, I believe it was. And that was the first uh, step, a baby step, and it was a great amplifier. We got uh, a lot of really good response, but the only negative we had is it was not powerful enough. It couldn't drive every speaker. Um, so on the back of our minds, you know, we always knew we had to build the next generation. And that's what we're showing at this show. It's a, a real power performance statement you know, right. it's it's the uh, 800 watt 800. rms <laughs> into 4 ohm um, uh, amplifier and you saw it it's it's monstrous but uh, as i said before you know it was built from the inside out so we use components we value evaluate the components and once we find something that really works great then we put it in a box in this case we had to grow the box to fit it but the, uh, the first priority was 
performance, the quality, and you know you hear that. Yes. And secondary was the weight and the size of it. <laughs> uh, it's it's really important to to get the performance there. Yeah. yeah. No, I just I just heard it right now and uh, played even some of my recordings. I was extremely impressed. I'm afraid that my uh, pocketbook will not allow me to to be able to continue listening with it. Well, we'll have to investigate your pocket and, uh, okay. and, and work with it. We can do uh, that. Anyways, I but appreciate you taking the time. He's been, obviously, for DSD technology, one of the important factors and figures in this business. And um, it's been an honor to work with you all these years. Thank you. Well, it's likewise <laughs> an honor to work with you. And I, uh, I regard you as one key person in the DSD generation, I mean, DSD music generation. That's and uh, your recordings are really uh, out there and uh, you know, special. Uh, I you. listen to a lot of your recordings and yeah. uh, I think of you and say, <laughs> you know, thank you for the community. You know, thank you for the music. Yeah. Well, Ultimately, it that's is our passion. It's our passion, but ultimately that's what we uh, 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 are passionate about. Absolutely. We can build equipment, that's only a tool, yeah. but ultimately we need artists like you, you know, right. to fuel those, those tools. Hardware so needs software. Thank you. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Thank you.